Hello everybody! Good morning, wherever you are. Thanks for coming along and watching another class with me today. I have you at a different angle. We're gonna see how this works. I thought I would show you how I prepare for a class. So, if you see here, I have this next class coming up is a level four, unit 10, lesson four. And the girl's name is Elaine, and she is 11 years old. You see these tags right here? New course for you. So this is a new course for me. And this is a regular student, meaning that I already have had the student one time. And then when I click on her info, I can see that I have had her one time. So that is what the GoGo -Go Kid page looks like. I thought you might be interested in seeing that. I've had one class with a student, so we can look more in depth into this is how you prepare for the classroom. You can see more in depth. You can see how many classes the kids have had with you, how many classes she has had total with Google Kid. And down here where my finger is, is all the past feedback that the teachers have said about her. And over here is my class um, info. This lesson is about tuna and it tells you the characteristics of the course there's more correction time for correction student um, output and there is more time for effective student extensions and also sentences that i can go over and words that i can go over so this is the class for today again this is a level four class she is 11 years old so we're going to do more extensions and more seeing what we can do I am going to unplug you so you can hear the student. You can't see the student, but I am going to unplug you so you can hear the student. And she is in her classroom right now. So here we go. Hello. Hi. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Elaine. Elaine, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Elaine? All right, so I don't think she can hear me very well. Oh, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, I am good you are well today. Did you go to school today? No. No, no school. Did you do homework? I still have vacation. Oh, vacation, okay. Did you have homework today? Yes. Homework. Homework. Oh, English homework. I see your English homework. Good job. The words are too small. Oh, do you like to do homework? Um, of course not. Of course not. No homework. <laughs> Elaine, what is your favorite thing to do? What do you like to do? Uh-huh. Do you like to read books? Do you like to watch movies? What is your favorite um, thing to do? What's my favorite movie? Oh, your favorite movie. Good. What yeah, is... Oh, that sounds good, Elaine. Watch your favorite movie and eat snacks. Or, um, it's also about the uh, um, sitting in my daddy's car. Elaine, that sounds very good, actually. Just being by yourself, listening to music, watching a movie. <laughs> that would be a favorite thing of mine, too. My favorite thing, I like to read. I like to sit by myself in a beautiful place and just read, read, read. So, I like that. Are you ready for today? Yes, I'm ready. 
Today you are on lesson four. Good job. Lesson four. We are going to look at tuna. Hmm. Let's see what these what these is. Yeah. It's fried great parmesan cheese dish. Good. Good job. Awesome. This word is flounder. Flounder. Yes. Yeah, so these are all types of fish. Look at my fish right here. Do you like to eat fish? Yes. What is your favorite type of fish? Um, my favorite kind of fish is... There's tuna. There can be tuna fish. There's flounder. Um, another type of fish is salmon. Uh, salmon. Sa I, yes. I Yes, salmon is a very good fish. Awesome. All right, Elaine, let's get to reading. Okay. Do you like to eat flounder? Yes, I like to eat six fried flounder fillets. Good, awesome. Fillets. Fillets. Uh huh. So a fillet is when you cut something and you cut it and it's flat and then you fry it. So this right, this type of fish right here is a flounder. Have you ever eaten a flounder? I do not have eaten flounder. Okay. I I don't think I've eaten flounder either. I don't like fish very much. Do you like fish a lot or do you like fish a little bit? I like fish a lot. You like fish a lot. I like fish in sushi. Oh, yes. Fish and sushi is good. I like fish and steak. Okay. Okay. Do you eat a lot of sushi? I don't eat a lot of sushi. There's, there's a sushi stores in okay. my house. There is one, but it's in a shopping market. Okay. That we, um, we really go to get sushi stores. Okay. I have a sushi restaurant near me, and I go sometimes. I like to go. <laughs> All right. Let's keep breathing. They cook in our home. Um, they don't like we having our having anything else, right? They think it's unhealthy. <laughs> unhealthy. That makes sense. Healthy, but it's and it's uh, expensive. Expensive. Very true. It's not your favorite. It's not your favorite food. I understand. I get it. All right, Elaine, let's read this. Can you read this for teacher? How do you cook your flounder? I cut it into fillets uh -huh. and season it. Then bake it in the deep oven for two hours. Then add in the parmesan cheese. Very good. Good job. Parmesan. Parmesan, Par uh -huh. parmesan cheese. 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 Very good. Do you like cheese? I like cheese in the shopping market for children. Okay. 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 She, so Parmesan cheese is a cheese that's like a powder. It's crushed up. It's like a powder. And you can pour it on, sometimes you can pour it on pizza or they bake their dish. So they get their fish and then they pour the cheese on it. So that is how they cook their flounder. Do you cook? Yes, yes. Let's give you a crystal. Teacher needs to give you a crystal. And I brought a game to play today too. So at the end, we are going to play tic-tac-toe. And this is my tic-tac-toe game that I brought. So we're going to play tic-tac-toe. And I need to give you a crystal. All right, let's keep going. Let's look at tuna. What is tuna? I like fish that can be eaten as food. Tuna salad. You can make tuna and vegetables. You can make tuna salad. Tuna salad is a type of fish. Perfect. Good job, Elaine. Perfect job reading. I a lot of tuna. No, not tuna. It's tuna can. 
Two, tuna cans, yes. You can buy that here in America too. You can buy tuna. They are round cans like this. This is very salty and uh, it tastes good with porridge. Oh, okay. Do you like to eat tuna? Um, just so so. Just so so. A little bit. Me too. I don't like tuna very much. <laughs> All right. What is dip? Mom likes to cut tuna dip on crackers. Yeah, so this is dip. Dip is when you can put food into it or you can put the dip, is something soft, and you put it on top of other food. What is a grocery store? Grocery store. I can buy food and more items in the grocery store. Good. So a grocery store is a place where you go to buy food. Do you go to the grocery store a lot, Elaine? Yes. Who do you go with? The grocery store for music. Okay. Who do you go to the grocery store with? My mom. Okay. With myself. When I go there myself, I often buy like an ice cream. Oh. <laughs> it's a grocery store behind my school is very close. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so you you like to go after school by yourself to buy ice cream. Yes. Yeah, I see. I see. All right, let's look at the these words and let's look at the pictures. Can you match? Can you read? Yes. Uh huh. Etsy, is it not working? Very good. Good job. Tuna dip. Let's do the pencil. Tuna tuna dip. Grocery store is two. Oh, let's see. Tuna dip. Tuna dip is actually three. Tuna dip is actually three. Tuna dip. Grocery store. Which one? What is tuna salad? Yes, number four. Change color. Good, you changed your color. Very good, good job, perfect. Let's give you another crystal. You are doing a great job, Elaine. Very good. All right, fill in the blanks. Can you read the sentence and fill in the blanks? Now when I went fishing with my father last month. Good job. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Good job. Do you like to eat tuna salad? Mm. I have never eaten tuna salad, but I don't like salad. Oh, you don't like salad. Okay. Yeah. So, I like to eat salad. I like to eat strawberries in my salad. Do you like to eat strawberries? Here's a picture. Teacher has a picture. These are my favorite fruits. I love strawberry and blueberries and raspberries and peaches. And during the summer, we are in summer in America. And during the summer, I like to eat a salad with a lot of fruit. It is very good. Watermelon. Uh, okay. I like watermelon too. It's very good. All right. Very good. Good job. What is a chef? Do you know what a chef does? It's a, a cook. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very good. A chef is a cook. Very good. A chef is somebody who cooks. Yes. So he seasoned it with soy sauce. Mmm. I like soy sauce very much. Soy sauce is very good to eat. Do you like to eat with soy sauce? Yes. Yes. Very good. All right. Choose and read. <laughs> choose and read. Can you read the sentence and choose the right word? Good. Great job. After years, the tuna tries to hide. 
Good. So the Very good. Do you buy flowers for your mother? Okay. Sometimes. No. Oh, do you like do you like flowers? You like flowers. Good. All right. Let's keep going. Can you read this for DJ? Very good. Perfect. Good job reading. Very good. So they're going to use up all that tuna that they bought. All right. How do you want to use up all of that tuna? Can you make a sentence? Can you make a sentence using I all of these words? Tuna, tuna Very good. Good job. Perfect, Elaine. All right, Elaine, let's start our game. You are O and teacher is going to be X. So what number do you want? O5. O5. And teacher is going to put her first X on eight. All right, let's choose another one. Oh, nine. Nine. And I'm going to do, hmm, I'm going to block you with one. All right, we will continue in a little bit. That's what it looks like. All right, let's keep going. You're doing an awesome job, Elaine. Let's make a sentence. What did you buy today? I buy a lot of tuna from the grocery store today. Very good. Perfect sentence. A sentence has a subject and a verb, and it always has a period at the end. Very good. Good job. What did you buy today? I bought a lot of tuna from the grocery store today. How do you want to use up all this tuna? I want to make tuna salad. And Very good. Perfect. Good job. Alex said, what did you buy today? Very good. Good job. All right, Elaine. Let's read. Very good. This word, what is this word here? This word is um, essay. essay. Yes, do you know what that is? Do you write essays in school? Yes, it's like, it's like when you have something you have to write in school and it is long. It's like a report or maybe like, uh, it's not a long paper, it's a little paper. It's called an essay about something. Do you write those in school? Yes, yes. Of, course. <laughs> of course you do. All right, keep reading. Very good. Look, they are playing chess. What is your favorite game to play? Um, oh, do you do you like video games? What video games do you like? Okay, okay. I don't know that one, but is it fun? Okay. My sons like to play video game very much. All right. Okay, okay, cool. That's that, that's very cool, Elaine. All right, Elaine, what words be, What words have the L sound? L, L sound. Perfect. Yep. You got it. S sounds and the F sounds. Very good. All right. Odd one out. Which word does not match? You got it. Very good. Good job. All right. Oh, look at some math. Do you like math? Very good. Good job. 
312. Very good. Good job. Perfect, Elaine. Elaine, do you like to do math in school? Do you like to do math in school? I hate math. I hate it. You hate it. What is your favorite thing to do in school? Your favorite thing to do in school? Yes. Do you, what is your favorite thing to do in school? Okay. <laughs> our okay. So your favorite thing is to be with your friends at school. That's cool. Yeah, it's, um, it's just like this. These are the kids in the. This is our teacher and these are the students. Okay. That's cool. Do you have a lot of friends at school? Of the row, of the row, of the row. Good. All right. How much money did she spend in total? What are you going to do? Yes. 7 times 18 equals 126. Let's see. Uh I think let's see. 7 times 18 Let's see if we need to pull the light bulb, the whiteboard. Oh, there you go. Yes, 126. Very good. Good job. Perfect. All right, let's talk. What, what did he say for her to say this? What did he say? Can you still hear me, Elaine? Can you still hear me? Okay, good. Just, just checking. So what did he say for her to say, I cut it into fillets and then seasoned it? What was his question? How, how do you cook your fillets? Yes, good. Perfect. How do you cook your fillets? All right. Let's give you another crystal. You're doing a great job, Elaine. What did you buy today? What did she say? Very good. Perfect. Good job. How do you want to use up all of that tuna? Very good. Perfect. Good job. Elaine, are you going to go to the grocery store today? No. Are you going to go? Are you going to go to the grocery store tomorrow in China tomorrow? No. We what? Have a lot of food now. Oh, you have enough food now. Gotcha. When when you go to the grocery store, what are you going to buy next time you go? What are you going to buy? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Elaine, do you like to eat ice cream? Okay. I like milk. You like milk. Very good. Good job. Awesome. All right. You did a wonderful job today. Let's look at number two. How do you want to use up all of that tuna?
Very good. Perfect, Elaine. Good job. I'm glad that you can still hear me. All right. What number do you want now? Number six, and I am going to block you at number four. All right, what number? Um, oh, seven. Is that seven? Yes, this is seven, and this is three. Number seven. Can you show me? Yes. Number seven. And teacher is going to do number, uh-oh, oh man. All right, what number? Three. Number three, and three. you won. You had two ways to win, this way and this way. Teacher should have blocked you, but I did it. Number three, very good. Next time. Next time I will get you. You're right. All right, let's listen to this song to end. Get my tackle box. Go fishing with my grandma. Look, I have a fishing thing. I fry it up. Do you cook the tuna? I put it in a bun. Yummy, yummy fish. How lucky we are. All right, Elaine, that was a silly song. Look at my fi my fishing pole. Do you like to fish? Do you like to fish? Yes. Yes. Do you want to go fishing? Yes. Who do you go fishing with? Who? Um, I don't know. I just fishing in the pool for little kids. Oh, a little pond for little kids. All right, Elaine. Okay. If you do a good job in school, get a good mark, you can go fishing. All right, Elaine. I gave you five crystals. It was so nice to talk to you today. Thank you for talking to teacher. Bye-bye. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell, but at the end of class, her signal, she was coming in and out and I couldn't hear her as well. So if that happens, my signal was fine. In my classroom, I can see where my Wi-Fi thing is and I was fine. She was coming in and out, but she said she could still hear me. That's why I asked her several times. Um, I couldn't, she, she was more spotty, but we made it. We only had five more minutes left of class. So I don't wanna waste time on trying to call somebody to help. So if connectivity issues come up, you just have to play it by ear. As you could see, this was a level four. This is the highest level that Google -Go Kid will get. And this was very, very easy for the student. Um, we extended a lot. I let her talk a lot because at this point, this is what they need. And you can only talk so much about tuna and tuna fish salad. So I extended as much as I could. So now this is what the feedback form looks like. You see it has too easy, then easy, just right, difficult, and too difficult in the comments. So this was very easy for her. So um, so I'm gonna put too easy for her. Um, Google -Go Kid Teachers, um, we have a shared Google Drive document with feedback that gives us a template of the document. So once you start teaching and you can join the Facebook groups, um, they will share with you a template of a feedback. So right now, my job will be to write a review about the student and I will use the Google Drive template um, to get the major things about the lessons, what we went over. So it's a copy and paste thing. 
and then you always want to personalize it and put specifically what the student needs to work on or what we did. So for this feedback, I will put that um, she is very good talking, conversation, and just for her to keep practicing and for her to keep using complete sentences. And this was too easy for her. So in my feedback, maybe hopefully Google Kid will see and they will figure out what to do with the student. Um, there is not another level for her, but there are supplemental classes, which I think she would do really, really well on. So thanks for coming along. That was a class. I'm going to get my feedback done and I'm going to get some coffee before I go to my next class in half an hour. Bye-bye.